One of my all time favorite quotes is, if I have seen further, it is because I stand on the shoulders of giants. And it's somewhat applicable to this project. I've built a boom arm from an idea I found on Lumberjocks for my J Bait style shop vac and cyclone cart. My drill press has a V-groove built into the base and into the clamp. That makes drilling round stock super easy. If your drill press doesn't have something like the V-groove block, you can get a block of plywood and cut a 45 degree from two sides on the table saw or a V-bit on a router and create a V-block of your own. That will really hold round stock quite securely. I've been using this for a few days now and it works really well. Just one problem. Occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally this hose or the cable will go back and forth a bit as it's being swung around. And what I wanted to do was tie it all down. That's when I realized that I forgot to put any holes in. So I've got to take this off, pull it apart, drill some more holes, put it all back together. This is a bit of strange framing because it's difficult to get my face, a tool and the shop vac boom all in frame at the same time. So why would you want a boom arm for your shop vac? Well, you can see the uh, piping for the hose and this makes it much more convenient for certain tasks. Actually, the majority of tasks is certain tasks that don't benefit much from it, but 
something like sanding benefits quite a lot. I find this much easier to control the sander if the hose isn't kind of tilting the whole sander up. The track saw is probably the other tool that I'm going to find the most benefit from. Invariably the hose always seems to pull out on the edge of plywood. This way I can drape it across the top of the sheet as I'm cutting it and it will result in less tangled up on corners of machines or workbenches or whatever. There aren't plans for this, I just eyeballed everything. I'll have a link to the Lumberjocks article that I copied the idea from. Thanks for watching. I used a cover sheet of plywood, that's why I had to stain it because it was pretty ugly. I've just used what I've got on hand. Uh, you probably could make this out of PVC if you glued the joints, maybe. Uh, PVC is a bit more flexible. I'm sure there's other materials too, but this is what I had on hand, so essentially it was free.